What up, YouTube? Um, Robernaut Heretic here, and uh, before I start this special deck profile, I'm about to present to you guys as part of our 15th anniversary selection from the Pokemon Base Through Fossil decks. I would like to present what has propelled me to choose this deck next. So I was uh, away at OhioCon 2014 this past weekend, and w apparently while I was there. I hit a bit of a milestone on one of my videos, the first video to accomplish this on my channel. So take a look at this, people. How about that? So uh, I'm not trying to sound conceited or anything, um, but that is the first video on my channel to break five figures, 10,000 views. Um, a little over a year old, and since it was a Blastoise profile done immediately after the pre-release of Foundry's Crossed, and a bit of an awkward one, running a single Fighting Energy and a Landorus EX, but nonetheless, it was a Blastoise profile, and the current Blastoise is vaguely familiar to the original base set Blastoise. So, following up their, that Blastoise profile, as well as the Haymaker profile that I did to, to kick off the 15th year, 15 year anniversary section, we are working with the original, or at least one of the original Raindance builds, Blastoise builds from 1999. So get ready for a wild ride, as here we go. Four Squirtles, base set, um, when the Team Rocket set came out, we were introduced to a 50 HP Squirtle, which got this guy out of the way, but to start, um, pretty much, you just use him to evolve into Blastoise. If you have to attack, you, I mean, there's really no point to using Withdraw, you just 1 water, 10 damage, flip a coin if heads, they're paralyzed. No reason to do no damage for an extra colorless and just try to prevent damage on the Squirtle when we can just paralyze him. Um, not many decks, if any, played Switch, and Scoop Up was Scoop Up, but okay. Um, we also didn't have Trainer Lock at the time, so no War Turtle. Four Blastoise. Maximize the turn two Blastoise, which in these days was much easier to get than it is now, due to supporters not being supporters. So, four Squirtle, four Blastoise. <laughs> 404, pretty straightforward. Um, three Articuno. Uh, original builds in the when it was base only or base jungle only ran Gyarados and or Dugong, sometimes Polyrath if they wanted to get techy. But when Fossil Series came out, it gave us some big basic uh, water types. None better for this deck than Articuno, who hits for... 50 damage with its big attack, 30 with a flip for paralysis for its first one, with a solid 70 HP for the time, and most importantly, I think, no weakness. Not having that weakness to lightning that made Haymaker deck, specifically Electabuzz, such a nightmare matchup for this deck. Um, but in this case, Articuno not having that weakness, and then also having the resistance to fighting, stopping Hitmonchan. Again, Haymaker, a very popular deck, really considered the number one deck of its time. This was its biggest challenger, but mainly that's because I feel like it was able to overcome stuff like energy removal. So, three Articunos. This is really your heavy attacker, of course. Blastoise, also a very big attacker in this deck. Able to go up as high as 60 damage if you had five energies attached. And finally, three Lapras. Um, he's a little weaker, but he's a little he's kind of a tank, 80 HP. So if you're playing against something that isn't Haymaker or just maybe they don't have Electabuzz out, it's a basic that can deal some damage. It can usually be enough to finish something off if it hasn't been KO'd by either Blastoise or Articuno. 
Um, Lapras will finish the job off. Again, a solid 80 HP is pretty reliable in most situations back in these days. Um, you could really drop a Lapras for a fourth Articuno, I feel like. Either way, it, you, either way you could make it work out, but... Um, Four, four, bla four, zero, four, Blastoise, three Articuno, three Lapras. That's our Pokemon lineup. Um, trainers, four Oaks, pretty self 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 explanatory. And four Bills, more draw power. Draw power is good. Three computer searches. Wasn't an A spec yet, obviously. Three item finders. Search for any card, get back trainers. Again, really good. Four plus powers. One turn KO, pretty much anything except a Chansey or another Blastoise, I guess. Um, take out Haymaker Pokemon in one shot. It's pretty good. Make sure Electabuzz doesn't do ridiculous amounts of damage that one shot a Blastoise potentially. Can't have that happening. Um, four Pokemon Breeders. This is basically just rare candy. It's the old school version. Uh, I always thought this card should have had a picture of Brock on it, but whatever. Gets your Blastoise into play. Two Pokemon Traders. This is now known as Pokemon Communication, which is also rotated, but uh, it's the same thing. Take a Pokemon from your hand, put it back into your deck, search your deck for a different Pokemon, add it to your hand, show both to your opponent, of course. Only two Gusta wins. Because this deck's damage output is higher in most cases than that of Rain or than that of Haymaker, so we just take KOs instead of relying on energy removals and stalling tactics and whatnot. So two gusts. And then because we play such heavy energy acceleration and the original build did not play energy retrieval typically, we play a whopping 20 energies. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 water energies right there. Um, and that right there is the original, or at least semi-original, Rain Dance deck. Actually, it was called Rain Dance, not Deluge, much like for Alligator Prime, because it can only attach to water and to water Pokemon, otherwise we'd be using Executor. Um, but that's the Basically the deck as it works, uh, mono water, and a lot of fun. This was my favorite deck from back in the day. Uh, that's all I got for you now. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Cheers.